What is happening in your world on Tuesday? Did you walk around humming Neil Young's Pocahontas song all weekend like I did, like me? Yeah, that's what I did. You get it. Fantastic weekend, too. Hey, look, you're tired of sports recaps and analysis shows being yelled at you. I am, too. We get it. Don't yell. No point in that. What's the, what's the point? You can disagree without the bickering. It's the benefit of taking on sports brought to you by the Alabama Take. It's a laid-back, Alabama-bred, redneck-slash-hippie take on and analysis on what's been happening in the sports world, especially if it happened in the SEC, especially if it's football season. And beyond, though. We cover NBA, some MLB. TD and Greg have it all for you. Follow them as they begin the NBA Finals soon. And if you go to the alabamatake.com now, there's a button at the bottom you can click on and you can record a voice message for any of us in the podcast family. Click on it, record your message, it gets sent to the correct podcast, and the rest is just shits and giggles. Uh, so what has been going on? The This is a f- spoiler-free episode in full. Just a couple of things off the top of my head, short form. The Sympathizer aired its best episode with episode four. Now, that's not the most recent one that aired on Sunday, but episode four truly saw the series snap into focus, at least for me. I'm a little behind the curve sometimes, but I saw the, I saw what it was going for, and it worked in spades in that episode. Loved it, and it was also pretty funny and sad. I hate that Adam and Donovan's not here with me, but Shogun's getting a second season. That's the rumor. A lot of that rumor is based around the fact that the gentleman who plays Naga, they've got him wrapped up for an, something, another season. I don't know. Where could they go with it? I, is it not going to hinder or color the way we view the first season? It was fantastic. Uh, damn near flawless, I would say. Maybe flawless. That first season, something else. Top of my list this year so far. Shogun, I don't know if you need a second season, but it's just hard to resist how great and successful it was, I suppose. If they do an anthology, they could even, you know, use the same people in different story about Japanese history. That could be fascinating. They ran out of material with the book, but there are historical stories based around that time period that kind of mirror what uh, James Clavel was doing in the book. So maybe that's what they want to do. Game of Thrones killed off characters and kept going. Maybe they could do it here. I don't know. It seems... It seems like a cash grab, but you can't blame them. It was successful. I watched the first two episodes of Dark Matter on Apple TV+. Plus. I really liked it. It has this idea that we simultaneously inhabit all the choices we didn't make as well as this one we did make. I love that idea. I love that notion about what, what would that be? Parallel universes, perhaps? I'm fascinated by that. Fa- way more fascinating than the multiverse or whatever the fuck that is. That's so boring uh, and just stupid. Elementary compared to this. Parallel, though. You know, there's a version of you out there that's that took the other choice and is doing this and that. That's just, it's just super fascinating stuff. I love the premise. I like the show well enough. Two episodes in. Hard to say much, you know. We don't have the benefit here of getting like the full set of episodes so we can kind of give you more of a idea of if it's worth your time or not. But if you're wanting to look at those first two episodes, that they're worth it. They're worth it. I did one more episode of Three Body Problem. They've got to get out of that video game shit for me. I, I don't care about it. It's so boring, so uninteresting. There are no stakes. Get out of it. I don't care. So I've only digested three of those. I I really, I don't know if I'll stop it or not. I'll give it a few more. We'll see. It's just not as good as Benioff and Weiss's previous work, obviously. You know what that is. Uh, Let's get in the show proper, and I want to talk about spoilers. No Adam, no Donovan, no Natalie, no one this week. It's just me, and I have a rant. Stick around if you want to hear it. Let's get into the show. I I love to take projection. All right, so before I begin, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to try to dance around this issue 
to bitch and moan, I suppose. But it all goes to the website Vulture and the critic Catherine Von Arendock. And before I begin, I'm a big fan of Vulture. I subscribe to Vulture. You know, they only limit you a certain number of articles per month. But I subscribe so I can read everything. I, I admire their work, respect their work. Critic Matt Zoller Seitz wrote for them and still does write for them quite often. He, he was the person that kind of drew me there because of his work and his writing and his uh, work with the, pod, the Vulture TV podcast years ago before it shut down. It was one of my favorites. It's how this podcast kind of came to be because I missed it and I thought, I want that, but I might as well make it. Anyway, Vulture critic Catherine Van Arendonk. I don't. What the hell is she thinking? Here's what happened. So there's this show, Sugar, on Apple TV+. Plus. It's a little weird, but it's good. I liked it for many episodes. It got a little dull toward the middle. I'm not going to spoil anything, but viewers know that there is a there's a big moment. There's a big event, a big reveal, a twist, whatever you want to call it. And you learn something about one of the characters. And it's huge. It's really huge. That aired a couple of weeks ago on a Friday when the when that episode dropped. You figured it out. Big reveal. Most people were baffled by it, okay? My wife included. She was a little disappointed by it. Actually, my wife was. I was just scratching my head. You can predict it pretty easily. There are big hints. I mean, one of the characters says, I have a secret. It's, it's really not huge that there is a secret. It's what the secret is, I suppose. Kind of changes everything, okay? You with me so far? So, critic Catherine Von Arendach goes to Vulture, writes up this column, Puts the spoiler in the headline. Puts what it is in the headline. Tell your friends that. Boom, she reveals the spoiler. That's the name of the article. They use a picture that spoils it. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to look away from the headline really quick. The picture's there. It was on the front page of the Vulture site for three or four days. And it infuriated me. Her opening line says, yep, blah, 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 is blah, 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 blah. Guys, my assertion here is... She doesn't have a right to do that. Yes, you could make the argument that if you're a viewer, you watch it on Friday or Saturday, and seeing this on Sunday or Monday morning won't be that big of a deal. Okay, that's not the case for everyone, is it? No one, in our day and age of conveniences, rarely do people watch the show as soon as it drops. Even with Shogun, which I loved. I wished I could have watched it on Tuesday night. I, I was unable. Sometimes I watched it on Wednesday night. A lot of times I watched it on Friday night. So I avoided spoilers. I avoided any headline that said Shogun. Averted my eyes. It's the nature of the beast. I I would honestly just get off social media. Totally, if it wasn't for, you know, running some of the website stuff. But it is what it is. Back to her. Back to this critic. She puts this in the headline on Vulture front page. Mere days, two days after the episode airs. Most people watched it on Friday. Some people probably watched it on Saturday. Some people, as you can read in the comments of this article, was waiting. They were waiting until all the episodes dropped and they were just going to watch it. That's like a trend. A lot of people do that. I'm going to wait until all the episodes are there. Or I'm going to wait until like six pile up. Then I'll watch them. And then by the time I'm finished with six, seven will have been on the streamer. I can watch it. Right? Just do them all. The binge. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. I don't like that. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it though. She puts this spoiler in right there. In the headline, as a picture, it is not her right to do that. That's my assertion. And I want to uh, quote her a little, okay? She states that the first episode of the, sh- the show, Sugar, should begin with an opening title card that tells you what what the reveal is. Does she not know people created the show? It's not AI created. It's people created this, and this is their intention. They want that. If they wanted you to know, they would have told you first. She's a movie critic. Uh, we know... If you know anything about criticism, you critique what's been given to you. You don't try to suppose what would make it better. Uh, You don't try to add in what you think should happen. You don't rewrite the script. You take what you look at the intention. Was the intention met, and was it worth it? Guess who? Guess who taught me that? Matt Zoller Seitz from Vulture. That's the idea. She's not doing that. Of course, she's writing more of an opinion piece here. I'll give her that much. Maybe I should add that, is the reveal worth it? I kind of agree with her that it would be more interesting if you knew it, maybe off the bat. But that's not what the creators wanted to do. She is wrong here. 
She is wrong by not following the intention of the creators. It's not like the creators put this out and then someone at Apple above them decided to cut and edit it their own way. One of her lines that really irritates me is where she says, there's no need for everyone to suffer the same fate. Tell your friends, exclamation mark. Tell your neighbors, exclamation mark. Pay t-shirts. Post it freely on social media. That's the line that got me. That's the line. Because some people do this. Or they really used to be bad about it when Netflix would drop 10 episodes of something and you being a person who has a real life only watches one or two episodes, then goes to sleep. And you wake up the next Saturday morning and someone has done the aha, I watched it before you childish game of posting it on social media. First of all, fuck that person. You know who you are. Fuck you. And that's just, this is what she's wanting. It's, uh, it's, that's not what you should do. It brings up several questions, of course, and I've, an- I've tried to answer a couple. And one I haven't gotten to is, what's the timeline on spoilers? I don't know. I don't know. It, you know is the show still airing? Maybe that's, that's kind of good judgment to use. Are people still invested in it? I don't know. I really don't. A month? A month seems fair. Two months? Three months? I don't know. But when you get into the comments of this article, she really pissed some people off. Rightfully so. Many people pointing out it's just mean-spirited to do this. Just because you feel strongly about a particular twist shouldn't give you the license to shit on the creative team. That's my point, too. I agree with that. It really angers me that there are some commenters and some people who think that uh, you're angry at people who say, I've been meaning to get around to watching this, and now you've spoiled it. And then they get really angry and say, you've been meaning to get around to it? It's available to you 24 hours a day. You know what? Fuck you. Some of us have lives. We don't sit in front of the TV for 16 hours a day as much as I would like to. That really sounds like an ideal job. Fuck you. It's not everybody's job to warn you, hey, I'm going to talk about something you haven't seen. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, Especially if you're A, a movie critic, TV critic. B, you're writing for a national online magazine. C, you put it in the headline. D, you use a picture that would give it away. It's not fair. The show itself is pretty good because of Colin Farrell. I really am enjoying it. Uh, I have no idea where it could go. I haven't watched the most recent one. I mean, I'm sure it'll get spoiled for me anyway. Who cares? And it does bring up the final question of my rant. And this also comes from Matt Zoller Seitz, greatest critic around. He claims, he's made the claim that if a show or movie has a big spoiler, knowing it does not ruin the show or movie if it is a good show or movie that's true i agree with that but at the same time if the creator meant for it to be buried a little bit play along for a little while it's just a little disrespectful i think i keep saying it's not fair Uh, that sounds very childish i I don't want to be a spoiled child over this but it's just disrespectful i think and that's my rant that's it for this show how thank you for joining me for my rant uh not the kind of episode we usually do I do recommend Sugar. I mean, it gets haywire, for sure. I, I have no idea what it could do now. I'm going to find out. If you're a fan of this show or of the Alabama Take, you know we try our best to put our spoilers in the back half or after we've made recommendations. I hope you appreciate that. I did that on purpose as a creator here. Uh, as far as the AlabamaTake.com, visit that uh, the new website's it's got a perfect layout, so you can go to your favorite podcast, pick the streaming podcast app you prefer, click on it, follow the show in there, follow the newsletter, sign up. Newsletter, uh, roughly once a week. We won't flood your inbox too much, but go to thealabamatake.com slash newsletter, or click on subscribe, scroll all the way down. You can subscribe to the newsletter that way. That's at the bottom of that whole subscription list of podcasts, but the newsletter's in there. Do it. Sign up. You'll hear from us. Uh, We appreciate your attention. We appreciate your time. Tell somebody about us. Give us some word of mouth. Let me know what you think about spoilers. What is the correct timeline? Was she fair? Was she disrespectful with her article? Even if you don't watch the show, does that sound cool or not? Let me know. Talk to everybody later. Have a good week.